All right, it's day one on the uh, BMG BMG uh, project. Project BMG, that's what we're calling this. Anyway, uh, we got Bad Chad showing us how not to fabricate. And then, uh, anyway, this is the donor bike. That engine, that rear end is uh, gonna go on this thing. But first we're gonna take the fenders. We already yanked the engine out today. No, I was the only one that bled a little bit. But anyway, I didn't think he really wanted to see me pull the engine out of an MG. That's pretty boring. The project kind of starts after I get the butt of this cut off, but uh, I'm, you know, I'm cutting it off right now. I got the saw blade in my hand and I'm about to do that and I guess I'll put it on the tripod. Well, if you know me, you know I make car love seats out of the back of these MGs. So anyway, I'm going to cut this off as nicely as possible and get it ready and send it to the upholsters to make the seat yep. inside. Lighting, lightening this thing up, uh, you know, the more weight we remove from the car, the better the BMW motor will perform. And uh, I intend to like strip this thing down to a skeleton and build it as light a little body as I, I, I can. And uh, this is the, the biggest project that I've ever undertaken. And uh, I don't even know if I'll actually be able to get it to run and drive, but um, somehow I got a BMW and it's so badass. Holy shit, I got a BMW. Oh yeah. All right, we out here today at the garage, Freeborn Garage, LLC. Yes, we are here. I'm back on the Bugatti project. I mean, uh, <laughs> the BMG, that is. Anyway, I uh, hope everybody's doing okay and dealing with things as effectively as they can. And uh, this is my uh, therapy. And I'm just getting to, getting to some metal work today. Anyway, I gotta uh, get rid of this. This brake will probably work some other way, probably with a pedal in the future and not a foot. Well, not this foot. Anyway, I'm gonna disconnect some of this stuff and figure out a way to attach uh, square tubing to either side of this from underneath the car over there. It's about the right width. And anyway, we're gonna put some more structure underneath the, um, the frame there so anyway uh yeah i'll uh, put it on a time lapse and get some work done all right as you can see there are two pieces now now let's wheel this thing to the back of the car and see how how it mocks up right right easy peasy squeezy Okay.
And that's what we got going on right there. I don't know why, but I just feel like that looks like, it looks like the beginning of something. <laughs> yeah. Well, another hard day's work at the BMG. Anyway, I uh, started with the top mounts there and some structure there. So then I wanted to... Well, this is how I deal with stress. Cut the back off the motorcycle, attach it to the front of a MGB. And uh, we have the world's first BMG. Anyway, uh, you know... Get out there and do something. Take your mind off the stress. Works for me. All right, Jeremy's doing John's tool. Well, I'm just, you know what? What? I, I, uh, you know. I mean. I must, I feel like this is like a little bit a piece of something that's going to go on to something else. I'll put it in my All right, well that was a rough day. My back is killing me. But we got the uh, engine bay all hollered out and ready. Uh, we got spacing. For the new uh, motor mounts, it's going to be just those two guys there, between there. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to come up with something. Those are not staying there. It's a joke. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, the BMG. Got a... We have seats for it that, that look cool, you know. Yeah, it's coming along. Boy, what a project, though. All right, I'm beat. I plan to make this flow all the way nicely through there. I'm gonna, I'll grind that a little more, and I don't know. I might even put it a, another piece of pi pipe across there just so it looks cool. Because um, aesthetics are everything, and I want people to look underneath this thing and think it just looks cool, so... I got some ideas of how I can uh, do that, actually. 
Uh, I might split a piece of pipe in half and put a cover over that. I don't know. But that that will go away because I just want to see a nice clean transition flow right into the frame like like the frame of the bike was longer. I'm going to do the same on the other side. And then I got new flooring for here. Um, that'll all t come in and tie in here. I'm hoping to have like two little cool roll roll hoop roll bars coming out coming out of there and there uh yeah and then uh we'll be switching it of course to wire wheels the whole thing we got a wire wheel for the back to come and it's gonna have that same fender on all four fenders which will be pretty badass yeah and the idea i decided to scrap the 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 boat tail and find a really cool gas tank that'll fit on there uh, hopefully I can find something cool and aluminum shaped uh, tank to fit back there and then um, so we'll fabricate that and get that sitting in there looking nice but the the point of, behind that is to keep that naked and then the front will be naked too like an old hot rod with the front open and then and then I'll do a nice little uh, driving compartment here with with just the aluminum sides because then I don't have to bend anything or do anything crazy but uh yeah it's it's uh it, it's coming along i mean it's it's got a it's got a look and i just you know i'm 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 feeling like that little bit you're gonna see so i really want to make that look nice and flow through there but i feel like it'll flow flow on both sides murphy murphy said this side looks better uh, i i i like the i, I like the polished <laughs> aluminum that's going to be a polished aluminum brake drum. I think that's going to be badass. But anyway, uh, this is my favorite freaking thing that I've probably built so far. And uh, I don't think it'll be the last one. The BMG, baby. Like, comment, and subscribe. All right, well, um, I got some reinforcements coming to the way to work on the BMG project. And I brought some stuff down to kind of figure it out. I... Uh, Anyway, these are the seats that I kind of thinking I might use. I don't know why, but I really do fucking like that vibe. We're just we're just gonna go with metal. This, I don't know. I'm gonna come up with a good name for this thing: the BMG. BMG, the metal militia, because this thing is just metal. Don't you, I just? Oh God, there's so much goodness here. This is my favorite project that I've ever freaking attempted to build in my life by a long way anyway i got the two wire wheels that are going to go on there we figured out that we can put a bmw spoked wheel on the back anyway i got reinforcements coming which i'm hoping i can get them to work on the back because i really want to tear into the front and you know life goal for today is uh possibly set the engine in there after i get this all uh you know cleared away all the junk in there but anyway, that's why I got reinforcements. So if they can handle the back, I'm going to start handling the front. Yeah, we out here today. And uh, we're getting into our zen of uh, trike building. Is this a, it's a, it's a three-wheel car. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm loving this project. And uh, I, I think the seats are going to work out, actually. Yep, I do. Oh my God, this thing is too fucking good. All right, I'm gonna get to work. Situation? Okay. Okay. So, uh, officially introducing Kanan. Officially. Uh, Vince, the drummer's son, uh, he is a legitimate welder dude, so, and he was keen to get on this, so we're, let's see what this man can do. And cut to the time lapse. All right, your BMG update. Oh, I gotta, excuse me, I gotta wipe the lens off. Oh, that's a little better. All right, it's kind of two steps forward, two steps backwards type of deal. Um, I had to do some prep work for the floor, but mostly I had to uh, change the direction of the drive shaft back here. So before I could make the floor, I had to cut that all out. And then I fitted this piece in. I'm still gonna have to blend blend it a little bit but uh that will be easy 
now that it's kind of sort of there. And uh, yeah. the, there's lots of leg room actually in this car, even with the seat that far forward, which is crazy. Um, but anyway, the driver's seat's gonna sit way back. I'm gonna put the pedal boxes in comfortably and then I'll figure out where that seat's gonna go. But uh, yeah, and then this thing, there was a lot of discussion how far back, but I really wanted a certain amount of space between the wheel and the cowl. So anyway, I got it kind of level. Now I can build the structure, I guess, is what I'm gonna try to do. A bottom rail and then build up and then nicely bolt this to a, a structure that comes across there. And then it's gonna start here and follow this line and curve down about there. Just a little space to, that you can step through. I wanna keep it high back here too, cause I really wanna, I'm gonna, I'll probably even follow just outside the edge of the seat, the seat shape. And uh, yeah, I'm liking it, Batman. <laughs> I'm liking it. I'm liking the back. The back is cool. You know, uh, I, I've got to do some something there to make the back bar, that back look look good. But uh, after I put the back shape on, figure out that I, I'm hoping that I can just can just you know make a nice round kind of like a tea bucket kind of bucket, basically a little oval situation here. It's kind of already made itself. You know, th this is a big thing. I'm not going to worry about the front because after there's a motor in it and it runs and drives, we'll make the front. So all I got to do is make the sides in there and uh, finish welding all the floors in and some rocker panels and, you know, whatever. Murphy's working on the cipher in for the drive shaft and the transmission and the clutch and how we're going to get this thing to go backwards and forwards. Um, yeah, but... uh it's uh the bmg i i'm really 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 like the cowl though i'm just gonna say that was the difference between you know keeping that mgb thing and then i'm gonna fill this space in and i'm gonna of course keep this because it fits right there over the spot where it normally goes so that'll be kind of badass actually yeah i'm uh, i'm pretty pretty actually stoked on that little bit right there i'll nicely make that piece for there um i don't know how i'm gonna make all this look nice but um yeah uh we'll just we'll we'll uh, figure all that out when we get there uh you know there's gonna need to be some stuff there's gonna need to be a battery so maybe i make a battery box covered here and uh do something to cover up over there but uh you know it, it it should be fine it doesn't really look that bad what i'll probably do is, is you know get rid of the holes actually i'm kind of hoping to uh cut a piece to put over the whole top of the cross there uh, it is. but i'm keeping these things and just, just in case there needs to be some kind of a hood. I don't know. I don't really want a hood. I'm hoping I don't have to have a hood. But uh, it's badass. And uh, that, that is, there's no denying that. There's no denying that. After I get it closed in, it, it's going to look a lot more badass. I would say, yeah, wire wheels, got the wire wheels, after I get the the inside, the comfort zone dialed in and that, then we'll start the wire wheel conversion, yeah, that's, that's an easy one for me, actually, this is the easiest wire wheel conversion I'm ever going to do, I already ordered the wheel for that, it bolts right on, uh, I have the hubs here, those bolt on. Kind of cool, it's gonna have disc brakes, you know. I don't know, I'm, I'm, uh, 
I, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. Kind of have an idea how to fill this in now at least and how I want to go. This thing was pivotal, kind of gave me a line to follow. I really want to follow that. Kind of actually just like the Bugatti. Anyway, I gotta go, I'm tired. My back is killing me and uh, yeah, um, you know, don't forget to uh, be grateful that you uh, have a place to sleep and someone to love. Good morning. We out here today. I decided it was a lot easier to uh, move it than fill in the holes. Because back here, it can go back there. And there's plenty of room over here. So, yeah, we're going to undo it and move it back. But anyway, um, I got to go get some cutoff wheels. I'll be right back. Good morning. We out here today. I decided it was a lot easier to uh, move it than fill in the holes. Because back here, it can go back there. And there's plenty of room over here. So, yeah, we're going to undo it and move it back. But anyway, um, I got to go get some cutoff wheels. I'll be right back. And there it is, just like that. The hot rod. The trace wheel hot rod. Yeah, look at it go. Yeah, baby. I gotta sit in there and see what it feels like. Yeah. Bueno.
just want to see. Is it passenger seat? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's comfortable. That is comfortable. I like it. Bueno. And there it is, just like that. The hot rod. The trace wheel hot rod. Yeah, look at it go. Yeah, baby. I gotta sit in there and see what it feels like. They're in this 56 Chevy, and the windshield's like here. That's sticking up. Was before we moved the seats. That's the way you do it. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna splurge. I'm gonna actually eat uh, pork and peas today. And what? Sour peas. What? Is it lunchtime? I don't know. It's 11 o'clock or so. Yeah. Right past this. All right, it's Monday. Well, I decided to uh, make my life a little bit easy today. I'm gonna try not to do too much body work. Um, try, that is. I gotta clean the fridge. We're having band practice tonight. And uh, 
But what I decided to do is swap. We're going to have wire wheels all the way around on the BMG project. It's going to have that fighter pilot vibe with, you know, airbrushed rivets and that whole uh, riveted panel vibe, pinup girl, jaw, jaws, shark mouth. Anyway, uh, which will be cool. But anyway, I got a rear BMW wheel and I'm anxious to see if it fits on there and what it's like to change a BMW wheel. So I'm gonna get right after that. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Wow. Install the rear BMW uh, wheel on a BMW uh, motorcycle. I have never done this before. Hopefully it's just as simple as removing that bolt and I don't know what's gonna happen. Anyway, let's see what happens. All right, well, today we got the back wheel on, the spoked wheel, looks much better. We added, uh, roughed in anyway, a uh, piece of sheet metal to the front, because then we're gonna make another, I don't know, my phone died. Anyway, I was explaining how I was going to finish attaching this piece to this piece, the fiberglass with the strands in it, you know, blah, 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 tack it really nicely all the way down the best I can, and then uh, fiberglass it to it. Um, I was going to have this be able to come off or go up and down with the hood fl flaps, but I decided it, it's not really worth it. Um, we'll, we'll have any access we need through this way, and, uh, and I'll have a panel that fits on over the front right there. You know, I'll cut a little notch in it for the um, drive shaft, and It'll just be all about showcasing the motor from that point forward. But yeah, coming along, right? It's got a body. It's got got some curves. You notice you got a little shape there. A little shape there, a little shape there. Yeah. It, it's uh it, it, it's rough, but people are, are noticing that it has something to offer the world. <laughs> All right, I gotta get ready for band rehearsal. What's the good word on that? Mom is the word. Mom is the word, okay. What's the good word on that? Mom is the word. Mom is the word, okay. Well, BMG is, uh, had a little body work today, and, uh, yeah, it's Memorial Day. I'm especially proud of my handiwork on this fender mount. I mean, nothing to brag about, but Probably I threaded the rods. It's all bolted together like I like. Don't uh, worry about that one down there. Next, that one actually, come that in nut's going to come clip, off. It's just tacked uh, on. It'll both of them. spin off. But anyway, uh, that'll be bolted on top and bottom there so you can adjust the fender up and down. This one, it needs a little more a little more work. I gotta sand that flush there. Blah blah blah. More like but remake anyway, that shit. I'm gonna put That's I'm gonna terrible. put a big hole in it too, so it looks kind of cool. Maybe two holes. But uh, yeah. Little by little. I'm waiting for my uh, what do you call it? My roll bar kit to come in the mail so I can cut the holes and fabricate the two little hoops. 
and then I'll also fabricate the tank mount. Uh, yeah, we out here. It's Memorial Day, and uh, I'll tell you, this is the only thing that can take my mind off of what's going on in Lahaina, and I'm still thinking about it, but I tell you, when I get in the throes of working on this project, it just takes me away, and I've been putting in the work. <laughs> yeah, it's just, I just don't know if I could even process, really, still. Uh, it's almost a month into it, and I just can't even... The ramifications and just you know it's not just something that can be fixed in a few weeks or months you know but uh at least i have a, pro a cool project to keep me busy the bmg it's uh in case you missed it and missed it this is a uh a rubber bumper mgb frame that i cut the back of the frame and the rear end off made a couch out of and then I put a BMW swing arm on the back and an MGTD cowl on it and I made the rest of the body or it's in process and uh, yeah that's what I know about that all right the BMG project update well I've been really focused on the body and uh, you know there's three different pieces of metal there's mgb metal there's mgtd metal and then there's freaking sheet metal that i added so combining the three to make it look like one thing was what i've really been working on kind of rough it in and so anyway we got a guide coat on it now but it's all been you know kind of finessed finessed together um now i can work on the rest of the lines as you can see all the way around i'm i have not cut this i'm gonna you know do one of those things where you make it even all the way around <laughs> i scribe it or whatever they call that anyway um well that's an 18 inch bmw wheel on the back and that is an mgb wheel there so i have got a set of 18 inch wheels cut to the picture uh they, they might be really skinny, but I, I, I really actually like the skinny look on the front, and that's what really I want to go for. But the 18 wheel will be much nicer, taller. Uh, you know, it'll have the vibe that I'm looking for. It'll come up a couple of inches, which will be cool. And then, um, let's see. What else we got going? Oh, yeah. Uh, today I uh, worked on fender mounts. This one right here needs a lot more work. A little bit of cleanup, but that's the concept. I might even make a new piece now and copy that one, you know, just because now I have something to go on. But I don't know, I think I can clean that one up. And then I'll make a tab here in the front for it to bolt, bolt to because I can't. Well, maybe I can show you if I put something underneath it. The fender looks a lot better when it sits in its desirable position. Yeah. All right. No, I am. Uh, wait a minute. Something's wrong right here. Try that. I feel like it needs to be f for forward and down. Hold on. Yeah, that fender's gonna take some finessing. I really like, uh, I need, it needs to rotate a little bit more because I really like that rim to be even around there, but that won't take much. I might have to, I might have to cut that piece, do it again, because that hole needs, oh no, actually. I just re-drill the hole and tilt, angle it down two inches and we got, we got a winner. Angle it down, not two inches, half an inch. <laughs> yeah, anyway, enough about that. Uh, yeah, so we're, anyway, we've been working on the body um, I'm waiting for stuff to be able to fabricate the rest of the back and get the tank mount, the hoops. But the hoops will come, you know, little roll bar hoop, roll bar hoop with a bar, fish, 
fish mouth mount, you know, welded in so it's pretty. Comes straight across right here and the tank will sit on it just like it would be sitting on the frame and float over this. Um, anyway, and then, uh, yeah, you know, we're gonna have like the shark mouth on the side, pinup girl on the back, uh, silver paint rivets, aluminum engine turn dash, uh, Brooks, Brooklyn's uh, wind, windscreens, BMW engine in the front. Yep. She doesn't look like much now, but rest assured there is a BMW retro hot rod vibing out right now yeah that thing that thing is on fuego all right well, all right well uh anyway don't forget to like comment subscribe and uh stay tuned uh you know things are happening the world will keep moving uh, pray for Lahaina, pray for me and my gallery, and, uh, yeah, and my sanity. Every time I get moving, it seems like something cuts me off in the kneecaps. This project has kept the only thing that's taken my brain away from all the chaos is working on this thing, so I'm doing this thing as many days as, as I can. All right, progress was made today on the BMG. I made some bracketry. Check out this beautiful handiwork here. Yeah, and uh, yeah. And the same on that side. You know, oh. And a fender mount there. So. And then I also, you can't see it, but uh, I welded in the structure there behind that, filled in that hole that was up there. It was convenient to brace the structure, but there'll be three brass wing nuts, one there, one there, one in the middle, hold the dash in. I thought that'd be kind of tasty. I'm gonna use, I like brass, you know. Anyway. I, I could switch those to acorn nuts, but I, I like the wing nuts. It gives it that, oops, there's an electrical problem. Pull the fucking dash off. Anyway, that's the, the whole idea behind that. Anyway, I'm really undecided about the tank. Um, anyway, I'd love to hear some feedback and some comments. What any, if anyone thinks that the tank, is the tank going to work? Yeah, I, I've been vacillating back and forth, but... Like, all of a sudden, that angle looks good. The tail, there'll be a tail light in the back of it there, which seemed to look like it works just fine. Yeah. BMG, progress.